Alrighty, welcome back, everybody. We are back in the Curious Expedition. This is, uh, I believe, what, number three? Episode three, yeah. Episode three, Expedition two. Uh, we're about to enter a stone circle and get some of this fucking map revealed. Oh. We came across a stone circle that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Maybe they formed a kind of map. Uh, if you have anyone in the party with the superstitious trait, they won't like this. You know, I, I wondered what it was exactly. I thought that it might have given some of them superstitious... Um... No, if they have it already, it affects them. It's a pretty wide area, and actually, Alistair Crowley knows where all the uh, stone circles are, and mm -hmm. the radius that he gets is one hex larger, which is a huge bonus. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw that down right there. Bingo. I, 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 I think... I feel as though even if your companions have superstitious, it doesn't really have enough consequence to not. Uh, it also lowers... Oh, no, it doesn't lower your standing. Um, yeah, if they do have superstitious, it's sometimes worth it to not do it. Uh, honestly, you think so? Yeah, it's not really that important to know about the map really early on. Uh, but it can be really helpful because... Can be. A, um, you know, maybe it prevents you from track tracking into, you know, a region of mountains. Mountain um, face sculpture? That's kind of cool. I don't know what those are. I see those a lot, and I, I thought that the artist would have done something with I don't, it. I don't but think he can paint them. I think it's just a thing. I don't I, know. Maybe it's something that uh, a shaman or something could do something with. I have no idea, though. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try and make it up here. Uh, I probably won't make it up there. Without fighting? Yeah, so maybe I want to go around... Well, consider, we do need meat if we're going to create an abomination, so... That's valid. And I know everyone wants to see an abomination. Yeah, we're going to need the meat. Tigers are really, really tough, so we might die here, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, I think we'll be fine. For the record, this is how you get killed in the early expedition. <laughs> you fight something that you have no business fighting. We, we do have a shotgun, which is going to be very helpful. It is going to be helpful. Ah, there we go, a, re a rock overhang. I'm going to go ahead and rest wow. overnight. I'm surprised we didn't get attacked. Uh, Aiden McClellan dropped an item. Shit, what was right there? Are you fucking kidding me? That was the treasure map! God damn it, Aiden McClellan! Was it really? It was the treasure map! He dropped the goddamn treasure map! <laughs> that's our quest, you fucking asshole! All right, hang well, on. Well, that's that. No, it's not that, because I remember what it looked like. It was near the edge of the map border, so it's going to be all the way to the west. I swear to God, Nick, if you're able to actually find this... I will. Oh, I will. I, I'll, I'll you have it. a memory unlike any I've, I've um, ever seen. I'm going to rest again a little bit here, and then we're going to go fight this tiger, which is like on top of me. Uh, let's leave. And I'm just going to go ahead and attack it. Yeah. Okay, so here's the combat. We've never actually done combat before. So, uh, I mean, in, in, in this. Which is also play. one reason why I was hoping we would do it. Yes. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, roll them dice. Uh, this sucks. That was a terrible roll. None of this is good. Uh, all there right. you go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I can so do combat this. in this is awesome because you have, you have attack die. You have... I don't even know what I would call the blue die. That's blue like die helping die, thinking dice. There's there's oh, one yeah. that's there's one that's uh, an eye, which is observing, and then there's one that's a head, which is thinking. Mm -hmm. um, then there's the 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 red die, which have either action or combat, mm -hmm. and then there's the green die, which, which have is... either defense or. Or the uh, hands. Hand unarmed, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's like a labor there, thing? There is, there is like a kick that you can do with a combat mm -hmm. die, an unarmed die, and an action die. So maybe so, that's it. Maybe you just like make a sentence with those three words. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I think that's kind of the idea. about it in German. So, so the reason that I absolutely love this system, though, is because in an exploration game, even the combat system has exploration. So if you see what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm adding dice to the pool and swapping them out to see what's the best. If I do two actions and a, and a, uh, a combat, I can do a sprint. But if I do an action, a combat, and an eye, then I can flank, which is five damage. So basically, it turns into a game of yeah. rolling, choosing which combos you you think are going going to best suit you, and then hoping you roll things on the other dice that you can still use to combo. I dealt five. Uh, each one of these hearts is two damage, so tigers have a lot of health, and I have not a lot. So I would I would keep your action. Your, your action. I'd rather turn that into a combat. So if you keep the action and you roll a, a shotgun blast, mm -hmm. you can use a I think it's called. Um, um, like point blank shot, and yeah. that deals five damage. Oh, really? Okay, well, then I will keep it. Uh, the shotgun is not one that I have a particular amount of experience with. I think. Oh, no, you can't do a defensive shot with that one. Okay, all right, then yeah, I will, uh, I will go ahead and point blank him. And one defense die just offers me a shield that soaks up one damage. Uh, so let's see what happens. Tiger rolls two, that's I think three. Yep, cool. Nice. All right, uh, there we go, and there we go, and that is all she wrote. Now I've got a dead tiger. Oh, yeah. We stripped what was useful from the dead, uh, which is two meat, three animal teeth, and a tiger pelt, which I will take. 
All right. Um, is it about time? No, it's not. Do we want to go? All right. See these. See this blue outline right here. That indicates elephants. And oh yeah. Elephants means ivory. Do we want to go after the elephants? Always. Always. Elephants are so hard to kill, dude. You know, I, I find that elephants first. aren't the worst to kill though, because their attacks are um, their area damage. Yeah. So they mm. never can pinpoint one character and just you know beat the shit out of them. So I just uh, looted an old camp there um, really quickly. I wanted to see if there was anything useful. Maybe bullets. There wasn't. Do I attack him or do I turn him into a, an, an abomination first? How much meat do we have? We have one. We have two. two. Uh, and if I kill the elephants, I'll have six. I mean, now yeah, seems do it. as good of a time as any. Oh, shit. It's Aiden McClelland. Fuck. I needed him. All right. Whatever. Fine. You Diplomat know, can that's, stay. That's okay because yeah. you basically just made him a super soldier. Yeah, I did. Uh, so the Abominations have three rows of combat dice. <laughs> they have four health and they have the, the cannibal trait. eats human flesh. If you have no raw meat or meat in your inventory, they will turn on a party member and they will eat them. Let's go ahead and attack here. So you can see the horrible abomination right there. I uh, see James Sterling, the diplomat, and then the two donkeys, which I'm not riding, and I should be. Oh, well. Um, here we go. You know, I never could get over the fact... Wow, that was a really good roll. Yeah. I can never get over the fact that they named the uh, diplomat James Sterling because that's a YouTuber, and... Uh, Literally? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a pretty well-known YouTuber, actually. It's just... It's so weird to me to see him Ooh. as a character All in right. this game. All right, now, here's, here's, a, here's a real honest question. Do I want to do the riposte, which gives me two damage and two shields, or do I want to do this and then follow it up with a shield? The downside being this deals three damage and one shield. The other one is two damage and two shields. Well, if you do two, two more damage, I believe the elephants at have health either way. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, so we're going to just defend, and then since I have no dice left, even though I have a roll left, I'm going to end the round. Yep, and they always get that off. Bleak. But, I mean, now you've only been dealt two damage to everybody. Yeah, and that's true. if you can kill him this round, you're you're golden. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can uh, would I be my answer to that. I can't. Or, yeah, I, think I can't. can't. I can't do that. The shotgun came up empty for me. Luckily, I have three defense, and since it is an area attack, like you were saying, uh, as long as you can muster at least two, we're good. All right. Uh, what have we there? Oh, multi this, attack. So this is actually really awesome for um, when you're in combat with multiple targets. Does it hit multiple, just like two or three guys? It, it hits awesome. everybody. On, it basically is an area of effect. That's really cool. Charles Darwin was one of the first guys that I completed the game with, so I didn't really understand a whole lot about it until I'd already completed the playthrough, so mm -hmm. I missed out on a lot of the shotgun stuff. Uh, all right, so we killed the elephant, and yep, four more oh, meat yeah. and two tusks. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of that. All of that. And if you'll notice, right now my standing is at negative three. Every animal you kill will lower it by one. Oh, wow, yeah. even predators. Oh yeah, even predators. Even things that attack you. The natives don't like it. Huh. They just don't like it. So I'm gonna go over here because I suspect that at the edge of this map here is where I'm gonna find, no. <laughs> Water. It was, there was darkness. <laughs> there was darkness near it, which means it's got to be down this way. All right, so yeah, I'm going to get up on this gotta hill. You got to be close. I'm going to get up on this hill, and I'm going to take a look. There was a chasm nearby. I see. Oh, well, that's got to be our pyramid. Oh, shit. I used the... Sh oh, god damn it. I mean, you lost the map anyway, so... I clicked on the shovel. <sighs> so, th this is definitely a bug in the game that Whatever. I've noticed. We're out of here. Clicking and dragging will... Uh, Initiate like items sometimes. Yeah, I'm it's go ahead and it's do this, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <gasps> no, it's gone. Oh, you used it up. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, and now the jungle's on fire. Oh god, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> <laughs> what an unexpected sometimes, turn of events. Sometimes that happens. Some yeah, sometimes oh, just things catch on god fire. And damn uh, it. Oh, I'm so upset. That was such a bad one. We lived and we brought back a lot of good stuff, but we lost the Necronomicon. We lost the treasure map. We lost James, or we lost Aiden McClelland. Well, because we right. lost half of him. Sure, we, we transformed Aiden McClelland. All right. Uh, anthropology is pretty good because we also have polyglot and you need the two for them to be useful. Uh, you can create anthropological studies that sell for 60 fame. Uh, they don't stack, but I currently have two donkeys, so I'm tempted to pick this one. Increase sanity, whatever. Uh, Reduce move cost when crossing hills. This one and the ones, the other ones like it that are like reduced movement cost when crossing shallow streams, when walking through jungles or forests, or when walking through desert. They're really only good when you combine them. So 
Freya Stark starts with the uh, reduced movement cost in Desert. So for her, you can prioritize all of the movement reducing cost ones, and then it's bas- walking around is pretty much free. Yeah, yeah. So all you have to do is avoid encounters and avoid wow. losing sanity through anything else, and you can walk around all day. I've done expeditions with her that were 200 plus days, which does lose you a little bit of your final score, but if but your inventory is chock full of gold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to take anthropology in this one. I think it's it's good in this circumstance. Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, and let's see how we do. Oh, no. Oh, we're rapidly overtaken by even Harriet Tubman. I mean, to be fair, this is before you, you kind of yeah. divvy up your, your stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that because it's not it's, worth a whole lot in terms yeah. of fame. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell those, and then I guess I'll just gift these three because I'm... Yeah, you might as well. Sure. We have enough money to last us oh. m- maybe even the rest of the game, depending on how we choose to spend our money. All right, so we've got the strange grasslands, the strange drylands, or the Wahomey Desert. I'm tempted to go to the desert. Deserts are tougher, but... I mean, two donkeys, so plenty of room for water, and you can always stock up for free at Oasis's, Oasis, Oasis Gallagher's, Noel and Liam Gallagher's. Early that morning, I made haste and arrived at the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I saw if there was anything I could do. A woman approached me with a request. She told me about her missing husband, a former adventurer who never returned from his last expedition. She begged me to try and find him, and if he was still alive, return him to her arms. We are not here concerned with hopes and dreams, only fears. Oh, he's not lost, if you know what I mean. Yeah, right. Uh, I will accept. Uh, Laser Gerald, a sailor offered to... Oh, sailors are useless. I hate having sailors in the party. Sailors are kind of like that all-around character, and all-around characters in this game are kind of... Useless. They are. You need to specialize. Uh, yeah. Sailors have the special ability that they can make cost and flares more uh, effective. But if you'll notice, that's looking so at my inventory, specific. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's all they do. Uh, and there's actually a couple of people. There are a couple of explorers who start with a sailor in the party and don't start with any cost and flares. So I think that's just their way huh. of starting the game in hard mode. I think that's what it is. Either that, no, there's got to be some kind of good reason for it. I mean, maybe you're right, but... They get good combat dice like soldiers do, but they have a useless ability. The soldiers, uh, they improve how whiskey is is, is drunk. Well, Scottish soldiers improve how whiskey is drunk. Right, right. Uh, English soldiers, I think they're just... I think they just start without any negatives. I Hmm. think they're just generally good. Um... Okay, so here we go. Uh, I don't have a Scottish soldier anymore, so the whiskey isn't as good, and I have 12 chocolate left, so I'm not going to take any more. I do have yeah, a gun, funny. and bullets are good. I mean, you, you can use bullets even if you don't have a gun. Should I turn this into a hunting expedition? Uh, we are in the desert. Well, now it almost becomes essential that we kill things as soon as we start this expedition, because we need meat. Um, right. We might have oh. to say goodbye to James if uh, we don't get meat quick enough. You are right, because James might just get eaten. Um, okay, <laughs> I, do I want to bring any machetes or climbing gear or anything like that? Well, Certainly we have no five rope. funds after buying all those bullets. Well, I don't have to buy all 20 of them. I can only buy 10. And we're at eight yeah, I, I guess that's fair. Um, I could just do that, and then we could save 65 funds for the next one. Yeah, I think that's pretty safe. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> Um, but that's the end of the episode anyway, so you get to see us uh, killing some prey soon. So yeah, we start the game with uh, these ten water right here. Uh, you can fill up more at the Oasis, uh, but we'll do that next time. Yeah. All right, see you in the archives. I'm glad you say see you in the archives because I'm the only other one that ever uses our actual sign-off. 